Hi everyone. Today is February 23rd, 2019. This is my 12th episode about C++ type function, modern C++ programming. In this session, we will implement and improve std make tuple function, and I will also talk about how to read books efficiently. Because we need to download our previous source code, please double click this link. Download the source code from our previous video by clicking this link. So you can follow our usual preliminary jobs. After downloading, please unzip it and copy it to your working folder. Start Visual Studio Code. Double click this folder. Explorer. Right click. Close all. We will create a folder. Please click this blank space here. Then this button. 12. Make tuple. Click this button. PCH CPP. PCH H. Make tuple. CPP. In PCH PCHH include include talk play fun UTIL please include the this file only here include PCH dot H and this file Include pch dot h. Include include type function tutorial type lib. We will update this library in this session. int main. Auto stream talk play fun stream auto nl stream get console out stream we are now implementing make tuple and here on your command prompt dir cd 12 make tuple cl we are compiling pre-compile the header first pch local pch cpp cl at msvc local make tuple cpp okay you should see this message now copy from From our previous session 8, double click this file. I think this is the file. Let's see. Right, this is the file. From here, scroll down, copy all, scroll down, copy here, overwrite, paste. Okay. Now let's build this file once again if it is working. Okay, it works. Please note that we implemented this code 
in our how type functions relieve you from this session, ninth session in this video. So you have to watch my previous video, ninth session. This session might be quite challenging for you. I probably use all the technique that we covered in our previous sessions. We will be using non-deduced context. We will be using all type functions we defined in our previous sessions. We probably use all these constructs. Okay. Here at this line, I will copy this code copied and paste it here. It is in the wrong place. And I will copy more type functions like this. I missed these things. I copied and here I will paste it. Also I will put a few more type functions. I copied this, pasted, then I converted, I changed it to like constant character pointer. I modified it like this. And also this function, I copy and paste. constant character string. In this case, this is array, so it does not have string count, array count. This is also character pointer, so it does not have count. And in this case, this is array. But I will also make array reference. I copied and I make it array reference like this. This is array but not character array. So these are false. With this, I scroll down. We have to convert constant character pointer to std string constant wide character t to std w string int for example array to convert array, for example, int array to std vector int. So we are converting array to vector and y, constant y character to std w string. To do this, we are implementing functions, template, type name, type, auto array to container type arg it does not need to be array i will say element to container element to container then i create another function void test element to container. Now I disable this part. I will remove these parts. Then I copy this function here. 
We first test if this argument ARG is array or not, or constant character pointer or not, things like that. So here, if context peer std is array b type function t remove constant reference t type we implemented this function talk play pun remove reference constant t in our previous sessions else this is rep array case array such as character n or int n etc this is non array case non array case now here we are testing once again if cons context peer we are now testing if it is character a is character array b type okay character array else non character array Please note that we defined this function Sorry, we don't need this Also, we don't In this case, we don't need this Note that we defined this is a character array function here in our previous session This is the array type in this case this is true array case character array and this is character array please note that this is array but not character array so these two case pulse this is array but not character array so we are using this function we defined this function in our previous session, session 9, probably session 9. Okay, we defined these functions in session 9. So we are using our own function. Now here, if it is character array, using element t container element t type say we defined this function in our also in our previous session let's see what it does okay container contain element type it returns element type okay element type is defined like this if it is character array then it becomes string if it is wide character array then it becomes wide character string also if it is character pointer constant character pointer then it becomes a string and if it is wide character pointer then element type becomes wide character string so we convert 
constant character array to std string constant w character t to std w string character array to std string w character t to std w string okay here size t size array count b type then constant auto last character if last character is arg size minus one this is last character from this argument argument last character if element flat t type element flat type t returns element flat t type returns either character or wide character t so it is default value we are testing if last character this last character is null terminated character testing if null i say zero terminated character if last character is terminate null terminated character then we return element t element t is either w std string or w string so then decay array ARG. We convert decay array converts from character array to character pointer. Else return element T we are using SCD. This is not, in this case, this is not zero terminating character array. Okay, in this case, C begin ARG SCD. C end ARG so we convert and return so this character array this is character array is done okay this is null terminating character in this case this is not null terminating character array in this case this is non non character array using element T container element t type okay let now let's see container element type d this is this is array but not this is array but not not character array so in this case this is array 
array but not character array okay in this case element type becomes vector it returns vector okay so element container element type in this case it element type becomes vector so we are adding like this we turn element t this is vector std c begin arg std c end arg so we covered we covered the type arg is array case this is a for array case now this is non array case in case of a non array it's simple using element t container element t type return element t std forward type arg so in this case it's simple now let's test this function first literal string using literal string t constant character pointer or str1 element to container like this this is literal string we use this function to convert literal string to string class to convert to string class now we display the string stream str1 str1 type talk play fun get type category str we are testing if it is converted properly okay now compile here Two hundred forty five, two hundred forty five. I forgot semicolon here. Okay. This is literal string type is basic string. It is converted properly. I will give a new line here. Like this. Now let's try with array. Okay. INT array. One, two, three, four, five. It should be converted to vector like this. Or VTR. VTR one element to container array. We copy this part. VTR1, VTR1, D1, 
BTR1, BTR1. Let's see if we can convert array to BTR1, to vector. I will put here. Okay, let's try. Okay, this integer integer array is converted to vector, std vector, like this. Now let's see this. Auto LST element to container. Now this time we are using this. This is called initializer list. For example, 3.0, 5.0, 6.0. This is the list, initializer list. Now let's try this. It doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. It says could not deduce template argument for type. Could not deduce template argument for type. This function cannot pass initializer list. So I copy this. I copy and paste it here. This belongs to non-deduced context. I will modify like this SCD initializer list type LSD. Okay. I will add one more type function. Let's see. I will add here, copy, I copied, paste, I don't need this, then I define std initializer list t, okay, then element type is t, we convert to vector. This is not character array, so it's correct. We added this type function for initializer list. Then here, in this case, using element t container element t we can use both. We can use this or this. I say LST. So we can provide DECL type LST. Like this. This is actually the same. I will give you one more syntax. We can actually provide this one too. Copy it and paste it here. I am giving you two syntax. I will disable this and enable this. These are actually the same. Here, return. Please note that let's watch this container element t. Container element t. This type function. This is initializer list. Initializer list. In case of initializer list, we convert element type to vector. Then in this vec this element type is vector. In we convert from initializer list to vector conversion. 
So element contain element type T. This. This. Okay. So I hope you understand this concept. So we return like this. Element T LST. Conversion from STD initializer list type to STD vector type. Okay. Now let's try this function. This function is overloaded. This function is overloaded with this function like this, overloaded. Then here, now it works. Stream. I will just copy this part. I copy it. And I would say bctr2, bc, btr2. Two, two, two. Now let's compile. Okay, this contain this this list element to contain this initializer list is converted to vector of type double. Now we convert it with the element to container with these two functions. We converted constant character array or character array to string and other type of array to vector. Also std initializer list to std vector we can now convert we can now create make tuple like this template type name type type name types auto make tuple type first types args this is this part is now pretty simple using container T STD tuple container element T type container I will make line break here container element T types We define the tuple class. I will just display in one line like this. Now we return container T We are using this function this function like this std forward type first element to, to container std forward types ARGS 
Don't forget trailing ellipses. I will make a little bit arrange arrangement. Then it's done. Wow. Now here I create void test make tuple. First auto str tuple. I would say just T1. Make tuple Thomas Kim. Please note that this is L. Why the character string? James Dean. Now I am putting integer 20. I'm putting another string. Sophie Turner. Now we are displaying stream T1 T1 and L. Now we call this function copied pasted Container element T undeclared 286 to I think typo Container element T Okay, it's gone I think I made typo. Wow. It works. See? Thomas Kim, James Dean, Cheney, Sophie Turner. I need 10 minutes break. I had a 10 minutes break and cooled down myself. I think this part of code is not very efficient. I will copy this code, copy and paste it. I will change it to L value reference and this is R value reference. In this case, we can use std forward. And we have to provide this type. I copied. Then we can use std port like this for optimization purpose. I will disable for a time. Then we enable if it works. Okay, it works. Now disable this part. And before we doing this, let's try one thing more. Constant character pointer message one literal string. Constant wide character T message to wide character string. I made two more MSG one MSG two. We are testing if these two also works. Then stream t 
he wants jealous element we are displaying the value like this std get zero t1 we are displaying the type talk play fun get type name std tuple element t zero element we provide this type decl type t1 like this then nl sadly this is not function this is macro so see because there is a comma here it cannot use we cannot use this way because it has comma and also it is macro so using t1 Zeros T. We copy this part. Then I paste it here. The reason is because this is macro and it has comma in between. So I fixed it like this. Now let's test. So, Jeros element is literal string. The contents is displayed properly, literal string. And the first element's type, this is, th this is the first element's type. The first element's type is std basic string. Now, what about this element? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fifth element. I will copy once again. It is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fifth element. 5, 5, 5, 5. Now let's try once again. It should be wide character string. M Jeros element SD character string basic string character string basic string this is wide character so it is working properly now add one thing more void test adv advanced make tuple here auto tpl make tuple make tuple one three point one four james make tuple make vector 1 2 3 4 5 make vector 3.0 5.0 make Tuple Steven L Sophie P 
50 plot make vector James Steve Steven stream TPF NL now we test this copy paste okay everything works Now we will add some helper functions like this template auto index type name cntr type decl type auto get cntr type CNTR. This is container return std get index CNTR. Template auto index auto indices type name cntr type decl type auto get cntr type cntr if context peer size of indices greater than zero return std or well, we can just say cat in the seas get index cntr else return get index cntr I think we can ch change it to like this index indices please note that this is recursive it is calling itself I'll introduce one more template auto index auto indices no i will introduce one more type here type name index type type name cntr type DECL type auto get CNTR type CNTR. Please note that this is all L value reference. We can modify to R value reference too. Here 
index type index if context pair size of indices greater than zero return get in the C's get no index get in the C's CMTR index return get index CMTR index else in case of one element in case of two dimensional sorry i have to modify the order it should go inside then it should go outside like this and in this case index here in the C's here Now let's try to use this. I will copy these functions. Cut. Paste here. In advanced. Stream get zero TPL NL stream get zero zero. I will say one. TPL and then now let's try this first so this extracts this first container and this extracts this second container From this second container, this second container has one container, two container, three container. So we are extracting from this first container, we are extracting zero, and one. 
Now let's try it. From, please watch the last two lines. This is zero, zeros. This is ones. So this is in a container. I will do once again here. Two. So this is third container. From here, I will copy once again. I will copy once again. Zero. One. No, it doesn't work. Let's see. It worked. Steve, so this is tuple. Because this is tuple, it is working. This structure is tuple. Now, what about this? In this case, 0, 1. In this case, 0. This is the vector from here. 1. Now let's try it. So this is the vector currently when you are seeing this vector. From here, this, this vector, we are extracting first this, this vector, like this. Stream, get, 1, 0, TPL, NL, Please note that this is vector. In this case, in this, this is second case, make vector, this is vector. Okay. Now, in this case, we can pick, pick out first or second element, like this. Here. We can provide more index, 0. I will make it loop. 4, 0, E, 0. This is simply vector. Yeah? E. STD. No. Stream. NL. I will just put it NL here. And L. Now let's build. Wow, this each element is extracted from, from this vector. 
In next session, we will turn this algorithm. We will make debugging. We will do some debugging in next session. And then we will convert it into a library. Please leave your comment and questions. I believe this session is a little bit advanced. But in future sessions, we will learn more and more advanced concepts. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.